guys. How's everybody out there? Welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. I did this huge painting. It is three foot by four feet. I mean, I did this, I don't know, two years ago. And again, this has been sitting in my garage because I, I messed it up. I don't like the color combination. I wasn't happy with the end result. But today in the mail, I got Arteza. Now I've used these many of times. And they sent me the 30 uh, piece set the last time, or 35, it was 35 mica pigments. This time they sent me 60 and check this out. <laughs> Look how many colors, every color you could possibly think of. And then they send you this little scooper, how adorable. But look at the colors, many, many, many. So what I'm gonna do is turn on the light here so you can see a little bit better. Hopefully that helps. Okay, um, oops, drop that little spoon. I am so excited to get started with these. I'm going to be using these. I don't know what colors yet, I haven't decided. Also, Arteza sent me this. Now I am an affiliate with Arteza, so if you go on the link below, you'll get 10% um, off your order at checkout if you enter my little codes. So. so what I've decided to do is spray the whole entire piece gold. And I'm just using whatever gold spray paint was on sale, I just grabbed a can of it. So let me fast forward through this and show you when I'm done. I did use sandpaper on the board. I used a sander and sanded the whole board before I spray painted. I think it makes a life a lot easier. I mean, you don't have to do that, but I did it because the board was kind of screwed up and there was a lot of imperfections. In this video, you will see that I start in one direction and I have to totally uh, redo the painting because I don't like it. Now that my board is all spray painted gold, I'm gonna choose the colors that I'm gonna work with. I have a lady that opened up a business right before coronavirus, um, she opened up a brand new business and she commissioned me to do six paintings. This is one of them. I am using this board because we're out of wood right now, but I'm using white, silver, and black. See? She put me on hold for a couple months and I didn't, wasn't sure if she was actually going to get the paintings done or not. But she called me the other day, a couple, actually two weeks ago, and uh, told me to go ahead with the paintings. That's why you'll see that the last three or four videos that I've done are all black, white, and gold. Because that's what she wants. So I decided to go that route again.
So I decided to use some gold and silver flake and it comes in a jar and it's already like all cut up and I'm just pouring it onto my resin. Usually I mix it in with my resin and pour it onto my board, but today I decided to do it a little bit different. Actually, I like uh, mixing it in with the resin better. It goes on easier. This is a little bit more difficult this way. And I'm going to be using all different kinds of glitter and um, cut crystals. I will add everything, all my supplies. I'll show you everything at the end of the video of what I've used. As you can see, all the pigments kind of swirled into the center of the board. I don't like this. So I get my fingers and I move it around. I'm going through my head thinking, what am I going to do? I just messed this painting up. But then I decide if I add a bunch of cut crystals and other things, it will make it look a lot I better. I didn't like the way it was looking. So I used my fingers to move it around. And now I'm using a blow dryer instead of the heat gun because the blow dryer will really push those pigments and give it a lot of movement. I am finishing up on this piece. I did use quite a bit of glitter, glitter flakes, gold flakes, silver flakes, cut crystals, you name it, I put it in there. I hope you liked my video and I hope you learned something. If so, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, give me that thumbs up to get notified on my next video and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my painting. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks so much. Don't forget, guys, I am an affiliate with the Epoxy Resin Store. And if you put the code in MONICA20, you'll get 20% off of your order at checkout. So if you want some resin and some really cool, decent resin that's inexpensive, try this one. I am also an Amazon affiliate, so if you go underneath my description, I have Amazon links for any of your resin needs. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.